Hey, thanks for hanging back out with us. Uh, I don't know if you've seen our video the other day, but our last video, I think it was, about the capsule pouring method. Well, today I'm gonna show you a new trick that has something to do with that capsule pouring. Um, we're gonna pour a capsule in it, and then we're gonna dust mica powder through it. So uh, it adds a really cool effect and uh, just a cool technique to for different baits to try. And uh, I had a guy that asked if uh, I could show him the dusting method. So here we go. I'm gonna show you the dusting method. All right, when you're um, pouring uh, this method, uh, what we gotta do is have a clear um, capsule poured over the whole mold. Now when you're reheat, when you're heating up uh, that on plastics, the important thing is that you heat it slowly. Everybody seems to have a problem with that. If you heat it up slowly, then it, it won't turn yellow and it won't get all bubbly from agitating it, from stirring it all the time. And you heat it in slow increments until you hit your 350 degree conversion time. Now, this is gonna be a, a clear pour. So we have the molds on the hot plate. Right now they're on the warm setting and we're just waiting for our plastic to get done. And then um, I'm gonna show you how we do that. But the important thing is you gotta have clear plastic free from bubbles. So uh, heating slowly in slow increments like that is the best way to do that. Don't try to just blast your heat right into the 350. Slowly build it up. All right. So we have our clear. I put some black flake in there just so we can see it in the mold because it's clear. You won't be able to see it. So that's just for you guys to be able to see it. Now, just like the other capsule method, we're just going to... This one, we're going to fill the whole thing. Uh, just all the way down to the tail and then dump it out. And see all the dots on it now that's why we did it so that way you could see them okay let's get the other ones start in the head and the whole cavity fill the whole thing up don't worry if it flows over we pinch it off flow to the back let it flow oh, a little bit more there so just toss it in there and make sure you hold it at an angle like that and because as it's dripping down and when you pull it up, it's gonna make a nice crease so it comes uh, uh, comes off, pinches off easy. Whatever I'm trying to say. I'll explain that in a minute too. See, I like to go to the bottom, all the way to the tail, and then drip it over. Don't worry if it flows over, it's not a big deal. Make sure you hold it though. You gotta hold it up like that for a second. Fill up that head, work it along the bottom, and then dump it up. Okay. All right. Then, since we put it on this, all this stuff here, whoo, is hot. <laughs> when it cools, we can just peel it up, throw it in our cup, and we're gonna use that same color to fill the body, to fill the, the middle of it in. So right now, we'll just set that out of our way. Okay, so they're all laid out. They're all poured. Now look, all these edges, just pinch it and it'll come right off. So what we gotta do, it's easier actually if you start at the head. I don't know why, really. It's just easier for me and just pinch it all the way down look nice then you got a nice clean edge all right so we're going to get those cleaned up real quick all right so all those are cleaned up and uh now comes the fun part so we're going to take we have a selection of mica powders here all different all different kinds we're just gonna see what we can do with these and we're gonna just add them in randomly all right 
Now, these molds are still only in a warm state, okay? So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna just grab one. This one is called a Triton color ship. You can find mica powders pretty much anywhere, but uh, these ones I believe I got from KP Pigments. Okay, look, you just get it on a toothpick or a Q-tip, and then you're just gonna brush it in, just very lightly. Just brush it in wherever you think it would look cool at, you know. put it this in the head so we want them to match so you want to definitely make sure you do that and see just dab it in there you don't spread it just kind of dab it you got a little dust up there okay let's get this ones the same way I can't get in there there we go see I like to spread a bunch on there and then just use the q-tip and kind of smooth it out now this doing it this way will not be as precise detail as say pouring the color into it but uh, it adds a whole different texture of color to it all right so let's just let's just do some randoms here a little in the belly to kind of tie that color into everything else all right so i think that's good for that one what's next uh, this one we call it bluegill color shift. Can you see that? Bluegill color shift. Not really sure why, because it doesn't look nothing like a bluegill, but. So I just get some of this in there and just kind of dab it in wherever, you know? Just make sure you want the, both cavities, you know, to have similar looks so like if you put it high up high here then you gotta put it up high here you know just if you want them to match so let's do some of that up in here just dust it on that's what's kind of cool about this you don't have to be precise just slap it in there cool all right what else do we got here let's see Ooh, this one's a nice goldish color called komodo i use this a lot for our perch patterns and stuff let's throw a little bit of goldie in there look at that Let's put some over by the fins area. That little fin there. Let's put some in there. Right around there. Nice. Little randoms. Just some touch of gold dust here and there. Alpha. This is kind of like a kind of like greenish to purplish. Look at your hand. <laughs> Pretty. This is kind of like a like green to purple kind of transition. So we're gonna just let's just do that. Kind of dust it in there. Mm. 
Now remember this mic is really dusty, so if you have a fan on or something, it's probably gonna blow it all over the darn place. That's what's happening right now. I got dust all over this room right now. All right, and just kind of spread that out a little bit. All right, let's do one more. Our black hole. This is an awesome color show. From like a deep blue to black. We're just gonna kinda, let's sprinkle this in randomly. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just kind of slap it. I mean, you could if you want just that shade. Obviously, you could, you know. All right, smooth that all out. Get all the extra dust. What is that? A little something on there. Okay, so Can you see it's just kind of blotchy in there, right? Don't worry. It's gonna look cool All right, so that's basically it for that. So our next step. We're gonna close them up and the uh, clear that we um, Capsule poured it we're gonna heat that back up and I think we're gonna add a drop or two of color to it just to kick it into a direction you know and then we, we just fill them up that's all there is to it man so we're gonna get all that going and I'll show you what's up all right so they're clamped up we're gonna turn the temp all the way to our final temp which is about 320 we're gonna let that get hot and while it's getting hot, we're gonna um, heat up the clear and then uh, we'll just top it off. All right, so we just got this out of the mic. This is the clear that we uh, capsule poured first with the gut, with the flake. Now it's important also, I need to say, all this flake that's in there. Now if you pour hot plastic, into hot molds all that flake will just fall through and it'll all be on the bottom of your bait so what we're our we have our molds all the way up so what we're gonna do well not all the way up they're about 320 and so what we're gonna do is you want the plastisol cool I'm gonna pour this about 280 so it's real sluggish and then that will help all your flake stay suspended in your bait and not fall out if your hot plastic's too hot or your molds are too hot if both are hot then the mold the flake just falls out of it now if you got if you want to suspend flake then you want to have your molds hot and your plastic cooler so we have that we're gonna just charcoal it up smoke it up we'll put two drops in just add a little color to it see how dark that got two drops but it's not once you actually take a little portion out you can see it's a just a nice clear charcoal a smoky charcoal like I would say all right so, we're about 304. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to toss this into the uh, vacuum chamber, get all the bubbles out, and that 
well, then we'll check the temp again real quick and then we'll I'm assuming it's gonna be pretty close. So let's get this in the back chamber and then we'll see what we're at. All right, we got this about 280, 285 actually. So we're just gonna slowly start at one end and top fill it all the way up. The cup's gonna get in your way for a minute. Fill it all the way up. And remember, just a hair above the top. To allow it to shrink a little as it cools. <clears throat> okay, let me back this up a little bit here. Let's start the tail this time. Doesn't matter which way you go. I, I like doing it both ways. No, oh, I hope I got enough. Oh no. Ah. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough to tell, fill it. Oh no. Oh no. Ah. Come on. Just a little more. Oh no. All right, well, it was that whole thing, and it looks like this one might be a little bit short, maybe a little bit underfilled, but that's okay, no big deal. All right, so those are poured. Uh, that one might be short, but it's pretty close. We're gonna hope for the best for that one, but we're gonna let them cool down. They're still all the way up. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna give them another 10 minutes because when you're when you're trying to bond a thin uh, shell capsule to your inside, you want to make sure everything's hot enough so that way everything gels and bonds together. So uh, we're gonna wait about 10 minutes. And then I'm gonna kill the power all the way off. Let it slow down gradually every time. Slow down at its own speed. And uh, when it's uh done then we'll uh open it back up and see how we did oh yeah see that one short oh just a little bit sure no. note to self make sure no. that uh, you have enough plastic in your cup that was a uh, half a cup of plastic so that's how much it takes to fill those things are you stupid or something? Stupid is, stupid does, sir. All right, we're back. We're gonna check them out. It's been about an hour and a half, and we're gonna hope that that short one is okay. Happens to everybody, I guess. So let's check this out. All right, so this is a short one here. We'll put that over there for a minute. Let's get this one. Oh. oh, it's stuck in there. Ah, got some flashing on there. Oh my goodness sakes. That's crazy. I'll have to show you how we fix that. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? That was crazy whole lot of flashing look at all that on the hook slot goodness sakes guess my clamp wasn't tight enough huh <laughs> no big deal though we can fix that up just rub it all off and then I'll show you how to clean up the edges it'd be another tip for you all right so first of all Get this thing out of here. All right, now look at that. Isn't that crazy? 
color effect to that thing. Let's see if I can block that. Diffuse that light a little bit. Look at that. Crazy, huh? We'll get these out of here real quick. And, uh, we'll see if we can get better lighting on them. Oh, this one did it too. Darn it. Make sure your clamps are tight. That's what happens if they're not tight. Yeah, cool. I hope you can see that. We're going to get a better light on them in a minute here. Let's clean up our mistakes first. Alright, let me show you real quick here. So, if something like that happens, don't panic. Get off all the big stuff that you can. And that one too. Laying flat here. Yeah. Come on, cooperate. All right. Now look. No. See that flashing that's on there? It's all gnarly and stuff. So get a heat gun. My full size heat gun. Uh, died on me. So we got this smaller one here. But the same process is the same. We're going to hit it, get a heat gun. And we're going to run it over there. And it takes that right off. Now it's going to get loud, so I'm going to turn the volume down a little bit. All right. Okay, the best place to take your uh, bait pictures is outside. So uh, I'm gonna take you outside. But you wanna see something? Look at this. Garbage. Absolute garbage. You know, last week in <laughs> Michigan, it was 80 degrees and garbage. Snowing, snowing garbage okay look at these baits they still gonna look better outside in natural light but what do you think of that huh <whistles> see what that dusting can do adds a cool effect to it huh and that that smoky body just really makes all the colors pop very cool so, can you believe that weather out there? It's crazy. It was sunny, 80s. Hopefully spring comes soon in Michigan. But anyway, uh, there's the uh, dusting method. And uh, yeah, uh, it's cool effect, you know. It, it adds a different element um, to your baits and stuff. And uh, I hope you guys dug this. And uh, if you want to give this a try, make sure... I, take pictures i want to see them all and uh make sure that you have enough plastic and molds are tight and uh if you guys want to see me uh try to do anything else just leave me a message or send me a message any way you can and uh i'll see if i can make a video of it and uh till next time thanks for hanging out with us and like and subscribe and all that stuff and uh thanks for hanging out